Hello, this is Paula, the Awakening Coach, and I would like to share with you something that might be really useful when you want to find clarity in times of turmoil or emotional imbalance. When you really would like to have clarity about this, an issue, or when you would like to know what's in the highest, what's the good choice that can be good for me, the evolution of my soul, and everybody else. Sometimes uh, the answer doesn't come right away. So if that's the case, then I have a few tips that might help you. The answer might not come right away when we are in a place of emotional turmoil, when we are not centered, when we are experiencing all sorts of emotions. If that's the case, usually the mind st takes over and it wants to find answers in a logic way. It tries to unravel the emotions. It tries to understand from a logic point of view what's in the highest, but it cannot do so when we are in the place of turmoil. Or it can override the emotions and come from a place of logic, of cold uh, feelings without, you know, re re taking into account the whole of our being and any answer we get it's a cold rational answer that might not fulfill our soul and the way we know that that's not the case that it does not fulfill our soul is because we don't feel peaceful and we don't really feel that peace inside our heart so what I suggest to do is try to find a place of being centered into your heart Try to find that place of stillness where you can listen to the guidance that doesn't come from the head but comes from the body. Simply put your question out there, practice breathing, and if that's enough, then you find yourself in a place of center. Slow, deep breaths for a few moments, and then when you find in a place of center, it's being centered into your heart, then it's very likely that you might find that clarity. If you find that difficult, you can try with a longer meditation and try to find yourself in a place of center for a longer time. However, in my experience, sometimes either of these approaches don't work. And if that's the case, it's not really a bad thing. It can be a beautiful thing. And the reason why none of these approaches work might be because the lesson that your soul wants to experience is quite deep and you know it is because you're struggling with it a little bit because you know that maybe uh, you know even if the issue is not the end of the world it kind of matters to you a lot and the, in the back of your mind you know that that decision is important on a soul level for the evolution of your soul so if that's the case I would say good news and my suggestion is not to be in a hurry just come from a place of sincere willingness to find what's in the highest beyond your ego, beyond your self, selfish interests, to find what's in the highest for everybody else, for the love in the world, for the evolution of your soul. Put the question out there in the universe, trusting that the answer will come. And the answer will come when you will experience peace. Try not to force it. Know that the answer will come in terms, of in terms of clarity when your body will experience peace. You will find deep peace at the thought of one particular choice. And that might not be uh, linked to any logic reason, but you will know that that's in the highest because it's the thing that makes your body feel deeply peaceful. So my suggestion is, don't try to push it or force it. Don't give yourself a deadline. Just put the question out there into the universe, coming from a place of sincere willingness to do what's in the highest, to do what expands love in this planet, within your heart and within the heart of the people around you, and for the highest good of everybody involved. Put the question out there. Trust that the answer will come and the answer will come in terms of peace. You will find peace. And the clarity will come with a deep sense of peace. And my suggestion is, until you find that place of peace, 
do not rush into make any decision. Just don't, just postpone. Just wait for the sense of clarity that comes with deep peace to come to you. Because if you do rush, it's not gonna be in the highest. It might be something that uh, your mind might be okay with because of this and that rational reason, but they would not leave you with a deep sense of peace and you might regret it at a later point and then you might be faced with another opportunity to learn the lesson of not coming from the logic mind, the ego mind, but coming from the center, the heart center. So if you find yourself, you know, taking decisions from the mind, don't worry, the universe will present you with more opportunities to come from the heart. So uh, I hope that uh, this made sense. If you want to ask me any questions, feel free to comment below, ask me questions. And if you'd like individual help, just contact me and I will be very happy to help you and to assist you. This is what I do for my coaching clients. I'm very happy to do that in person or with, with Skype. Sending you a lot of love and many, many blessings into your day. Bye-bye.